Ever feel that your calendar is running you instead of other way around? What if I told you you can automate your event scheduling reminders with a simple no code workflow? In this video, I'll show you how you can schedule events without even opening your calendar by using automation. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a workflow yourself that will ease your life. Let's get started. So to build our calendar automation, we'll need to first add a chat trigger which through which we will be sending our message or our task and we'll ask AI agent to do that. So we'll ask add AI agent and for this we'll need to add that model which will be our open AI model. For windows memory, I'm selecting windows buffer memory so it can remember our chat. And finally, for the tool, we'll use Google Calendar. So AI agent will send all the details or all the data to Google Calendar. So a new event can be created on our calendar. Now, if you have not set up your Google Calendar, let me quickly show you how it can be done. And if you have already set up your Google Calendar and added your credentials in any time, you, you can skip this part. So to add your Google Calendar, you will first need to create credentials in Google Cloud Console. So let's jump there and see how it's done. So this is my Google Cloud Calendar and I have created a project here. If you haven't created, you can always create one with this new project button. And here, once you have named your project, you'll see the name here. You can click on that name and go to APIs overview. So this has five tabs and the most important ones are library credentials and OAuth consent screen. So we'll go to library first and here we will go to Google Calendar. There we go. So we'll need Google Calendar API access. So let's dive in there. And here I've already allowed my permission for my account. But if you haven't, just click on the button which shows up here which will normally be to enable it and this google calendar api will be enabled now we'll also need client id and client secret key for this so to do to get that we'll go to credentials and here we will add a new credentials create credentials open auth client id and the credentials are in progress for the application type, I'll choose web application because my website anytime is hosted on my server and web client name can be anything. Uh, for authorized redirect URIs, we'll need to get this from anytime. So let's jump there again. And here. So I'll open Google Calendar, create new credentials and you can see the redirect URL here. So click copy and let's paste it there. I'll here. That's it. And we can click on create and it will generate client ID and client secret key for us, which we can paste it on an attack. Yeah. So you can paste your client ID and client secret key here and your calendar will be integrated to your anytime. Once that is done, I'll just close this because I already have an account have my account connected all right so event will be the resource will be an event and operation what operation do we want to do we want to create events on command and for calendar we'll select if we want to select any group or a folder for calendar or shall we just use the email and create our events for and the entire calendar so i'll choose that i'll choose my email and start time and end time so i don't want to fix those i'll ask ai or get data from ai for this and dollar from ai from time right and we'll also add end time or start time and end time let's keep it start time and here, let's click on expressions and end time. Yeah, 
invalid syntax all right sorry i forgot to close the inverted comma and there we go let's choose another details like we can choose attendees if you want to send the invitation to anyone you can use this color name that's fine conference data guests can invite only so those are settings you can choose to add or not location again you can add uh, this will be permanent or you can set it via ai agent as well so i'll just add summary of the event which will be again from ai agent here i'll add from ai summary that's it also let's add description and yeah so again i'll copy this paste it here and description now the beauty of this from ai data type is that it tells ai agent it goes backward and tells ai agent what data it requires and in which format it requires it and ai agent will send the exact data so a lot of things are taken care of here with the help of the data type from ai so do make the best use of it and our workflow is ready we can name this calendar automation let's try let's add an event create an event for tomorrow create an event for tomorrow to buy groceries at 6 pm all right let's see how this works and our workflow has succeeded it has sent data to google calendar tool it okay it did not send the correct date so it sent 2023 and for that to correct this we'll need to update the ai agent so i forgot to do this we can shut this workflow for a few seconds and here i'll select the system message your yeah, helpful assistant set the calendar event when you are instructed um, and i'll also add today's date will be and we'll use javascript for this so dollar now so this is a simple syntax which is available to us in n10 and this will give us today's or current date and time so i'll save this and let's walk let's try this again so create an event to review customer orders tomorrow at 2 pm let's see if this works now and our workflow succeeded it sent tomorrow's date which is 15 december 2024 at two o'clock and it will run till three o'clock so it's a one hour event we can also set the time till for how long we want the event to run and for description it added review customer orders for the day customer order review is a summary so let's check our google calendar and see if this appeared there all right so this is my calendar and as you can see it has created the event customer order review and if i am to open this it also has a summary review customer orders but there's one thing off in this which is the time it says 2 pm but if i go back and all right if i see the time in my calendar it is somewhere between midnight and 1 am so why did this happen if 
anyone of you can guess do let us know before continuing to this video all right so this happened because the time zone is different of my server and of from where i'm operating it so my server might be in europe in germany or somewhere and i am operating from india i am creating this video from india so how can we fix this i'll go back to the internet and again here and i'll ask ai agent to i'll give the instruction set the calendar event when you are instructed set the start time and end time in indian standard time only okay so let's test this again i'll shut this and create an event tomorrow or the day after tomorrow for the day after tomorrow to finish um the website and make it live all right let's see how this one works so all right i have not added the time after day after tomorrow for 3 pm to finish the website and make it live all right i let's test this we'll go to execution our run, workflow is running it will take a uh, four four or five seconds and there we go so it sent tomorrow's date 6 12 and for three o'clock as i mentioned and finish the website and make it live website launch preparations all right let's jump to the calendar and see if this one worked and here so it is here at three between three and four pm website launch preparations and our calendar is set so this is how you can set events or create events on your calendar with a few words which you can set from chat trigger but if you don't have the time to come to an attend to trigger your chat you can also do this externally let me show you how coming back to an attend and you can close this workflow now and open this just click on this make chat publicly available okay and we have the URL for this chat. I'll just copy it. And also make sure you click on this. Make this workflow active to be used. And the URL that we just copied, we can paste it on the new browser tab. Let me do that. Okay. Here is the URL and this is what we see. So you can also write your mail message here or create you can also write your command here create an event to do dash 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 on dash 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 time and this will trigger the workflow so this page is a browser page you can open this in your mobile chat as well it will just take a second to do this so once you are done with that you can come on this website and write what event you want to create and it will be created on your calendar and when it's time you'll see the notification if it's turned on for that event so that's how you do calendar automation i hope you have learned something today and you'll find it helpful if you like the video please comment on the video what you would like to see next also give us a like subscribe to our channel for more such informational videos and tutorials on Anna 10 and see you in the next video. Thank you.